Hello, EP World History students. Today I am coming to you to talk about the document-based question. As you see on the screen in front of you, these are document-based question instructions, being that I can't be with you today. I'd like to go over them with you step by step and get you started on writing the DBQ. Um, so the first question, as with any essay question, is to read the question. Read the question, like really carefully. So actually, pause, stop this recording, and read the question. Okay, so what is the questioning as? Question asking. It's asking you to analyze the views toward the nomadic tribes who conquered the Western Roman Empire. Now attached, you will find eight documents that discuss the views regarding the nomadic tribes who conquered the Western Roman Empire. So make sure as you're reading the documents that you keep in mind that you are looking for the views towards the nomadic people. Okay. Now this is I, the reason why I'm emphasizing this so much is that um, there have been a number of times, and even on this most recent essay, um, where people don't actually read the question carefully and therefore um, don't do as well as they should. So now step two, and I would ask you to just kind of stop the recording as you go and do this step by step. So step two is to read the documents. As you read the documents, write notes in the margins as they pertain to answering the question, which as you know, is views towards nomadic tribes who conquered the Western Roman Empire. So take note also of who the author is, the time period, um, the perspective or the, or the position of the author, and then what does the author have to say. Keep in mind, as you're reading these documents, to go ahead and underline or write notes in the margins that reflect the views of the Roman Empire. Let's look at document one as an example. This is from the source Salvian, a Christian priest writing in his book, Romans and Barbarians, C, meaning circa 440. So first of all, we know he's a Christian and not a barbarian. And we also know that he is a writer. Okay, and so he's writing a book, most likely a history kind of book. And here's what he says. In what respects can our customs be preferred to those of the Goths and Vandals, or even compared with them? And first, to speak of affection and mutual charity, which our Lord teaches, is the chief virtue, saying, By this shall all men know that ye are my disciples, if ye love one another. Almost all barbarians, at least those who are of one race and kin, love each other while the Romans persecute each other. For what citizen does not envy his fellow citizen? What citizen shows to his neighbor full charity? So think for a second, what does this particular author, what are his views toward the nomadic tribes? I would suggest that his views are fairly um, uh, complementary to them, that they are as good as the Romans, if not better, because they surely show love to one another. So pause the recording now and read through all of the documents, keeping in mind the views towards somatic tribes. Okay, step number three. Group all the documents into three or more groups, depending on what the group is asked or on what the question is asking. So um, Grouping the documents requires you to think about what are some commonalities that certain documents have. A group is two or more documents. You can use one document in more than one group if that fits. But usually you only have one document or the document is only in one group. So I'd like you to think now what views the, were expressed by the document writers, and how would you group them? Now, as you're doing this, uh, you can use this worksheet that will be handed out to you. And on the bottom part of the worksheet is a place for you to write your groupings, OK? Now, you can also do your summaries up here as you think about it. But then write your groupings here. What documents seem to have the same kinds of views towards nomadic tribes? And how would you describe it? How would you label that characteristic of the views towards nomadic tribes? 
And why don't you pause now and take some time to group your documents. Remember, you need to use all of the documents and you need to have three groups or more. Number five says to outline the remainder of your essay using the groups that you have selected. Um, you probably don't really need to outline your essay unless that's something that that is helpful. Um, this is my goal for you today is to get through grouping and then writing a thesis statement. So number four, write your thesis statement. Um, make sure that it answers the question and states the direction that your essay will be taking. So your thesis statement has to include some aspect of the characteristic of each of the groups that you are using for your documents. Now, I don't expect that this will be immediately um, you know, easy for you to do. We will talk about it in class when I see you tomorrow. So thank you for listening to this. As I said, read through all of the documents, have them grouped, and you don't need to write you do need to write the thesis, but you don't need to do any other writing today. Thank you. Goodbye.